just over a minute. Alamosa has scored their second touchdown of the third quarter. Three yards out from Andy Del Grosso. The extra point was good. A 24-yard drive set up by a 24-yard punt return by Brandon Meese. And the ball will be squibbed. And the Mustangs will fall on it at around the 28. A knee was down as the Mustang tried to pick it up. Let's check out who that up man was for Fort Morgan at that point on the field. Looked like Juan Chavera, the 5'8", 140-pound sophomore. And check it. It'll be at the 26-yard line. So first and 10 for the Mustangs. 3.04 to go. Alamosa, shockingly, by 24. Keefe is back to pass. Middle of the pocket. Down the right sideline. The pass is incomplete. Off the hands of Kellen Showerman at the 45. Defended very closely by Eric Jaquez, the 5'6", 155-pound senior. It'll be second and ten. Bob, I know you're speechless, but... At this point, I might need some help considering that this is going to be a tough one to watch for the yes, rest John, of the night. Yes, John, I apologize. Uh, kind of uh, going a little flat. My, the air is coming out of my uh, you know, tires, too, I'll tell you. Second down and 10. The Mustangs from their own 26. In motion to the left is Dusty Quick. Keith again back to throw, looking left, throwing over the middle. The pass is going to be incomplete. Was it intercepted? No. Brandon Meese dove at the 37-yard line, as did Dusty Quick be third down and ten. And even worse right now, Bob, Ryan Keith's balls look like they're floating. They're floating. Everybody's just looking flat. I mean, uh, right now, uh, these kids look like they want to just uh, toss in the towel. I mean, at this particular time, they need something good to happen here pretty quick to bring them back. Uh, at the moment, they're just flat. They're just uh, really kind of uh, shock, shell-shocked at the moment is what they look like. Yep, that play before halftime or right during uh, as the halftime clock was winding down just killed him. On third and ten at the 26, Keefe will roll to his left, looking underneath, throwing it deep down the left sideline. Man is out there. It is caught by Chris Lepstock at the 50. A diving reception and a gain of 24. Oh, Lepstock had to turn halfway around to make that acrobatic play. Great catch, great catch. Now this might be just what we need to, to get this thing going again. Plenty of time to go in the third, 248. But Fort Morgan has got to score either late in the third or early in the fourth and onside kick it. I don't think you can give it over to Alamosa. They'll just run out the clock the way they're going from the 50. Lepstock is in motion to the left. Keefe again wants to play. Pass off the, the uh, play action incomplete to Shield at the 45. It'll be second down and 10. Shiel ran a very good pattern as he usually does. Brett's just had all kinds of problems today. He just uh, couldn't run the ball and, uh, and even tackling on defense. This is just not uh, Brett's day so far. He's had a lot better ones. Second down and 10. The Mustangs at midfield. The back's in an eye. Left sock is the receiver to the right. The hand off the quick running left. He won't get out of the backfield. He is mauled back there by Ryan Kalkin along with Drew Ford. And Ford is only a sophomore. It's a loss of two to the 48. Keep in mind that we will have brush wrestling at the Akron Invitational following this. And then CU Buffalo's football. They'll play in the Big 12 championship game in Dallas against the University of Texas. Third down and 12. The Mustangs at their own 48. Quick is in motion to the right. Keith, play action, rolling right, setting up, going deep down the right sideline. Quick is out there, complete. 45, quick right sideline, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown for Fort Morgan. The Mustangs are back on the board. A 52-yard pass from Ryan Keith to Dusty Quick. Alamosa's lead is now at 18. It's 34 to 16, and a perfectly thrown pass by Keith. That was a great pass. Now there, there he had some life. I think that uh, 
pass play just before that threw some life into him, John. And, uh, I mean, that pass, it just had more life to it. You know, we were just talking about the flat ones and how everybody was kind of uh, uh, getting into a zone of, uh, ooh. Max Morgan to attempt the extra point. Ryan Keefe on the hold. They need every point possible. High snap, but he's got to kick it up, and it is good. Just inside the right upright. 1.38 to go, third quarter. Alamosa 34 for Morgan 17 on KSIR and B106. Mustangs on the board on the sixth play of the drive, which took a minute and 26 seconds, a 52-yard pass from Ryan Keith to Dusty Quick. All of a sudden, they might find themselves back in this ball game, and right now Alamosa anticipating an onside kick. Let's see what Max Morgan decides to do. He will boot this football away, and it will land in the end zone on one hop. Alamosa will have it at their own 20-yard line. Now, Bob, I think you're right. They've got to take some chances now. Defensively, they've got to do it. Defensively, they've got to get uh, crazy. We've got to get crazy, John. Oh, there's no question about that. A 74-yard drive, by the way. 76-yard drive, I should say. No, nope. was it 74? 74-yard drive. I'll get it right one of these times. First and ten. There's the handoff to Sutak. Right side breaks the tackle. The line of scrimmage. The second one. He's across the 25 before A.J. Quint brings him down at the 26, along with Alex Unerick. But it's a gain of six. It'll be second down and four. Mr. Baird, too many yards on first down, simply said. Too many. I mean, A.J.'s bringing them six yards down the line. A.J. should be stopping them off the line. Sutak and Del Grosso in the backfield. They've been too much for the Mustangs. The handoff, Del Grosso, left side. Red Shield tackles him after a two-yard gain at the 28. Third down and two. A huge play coming up for the Mustangs. They trail 34 to 17. That ball is just short of the 29, so it's about a yard and a half they need. At this point, I think you bring all the linebackers up and take your chances that Alamosa will not throw the ball on third down. Hand off Sutak. He breaks the tackle, gets the first down. Marquez nearly had him in the backfield. Over the right side, he gets it at the 30. The pickup of two. So very close, but then again, so very far since the chains move in the right direction for the Mean Moose. Twenty seconds to go in the third. We are looking at the last play of the third quarter. Kevin Schaefer will have an update after this quarter of the other two state championship games. Kector handoff middle. Sutak breaks one tackle, a second into the secondary. He's brought down at the 48. It's a gain of 18, and Amin moves first down. That will be the last play of the third quarter. It is Alamosa 34, Fort Morgan 17. Back in a minute on KSIR and P106.